Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Saf and this is a quick overview video on Joblib. Let's get started. As most of you are familiar with machine learning or deep learning, you all know that training a model takes much time in serial running. So we do training in parallel processing using GPU to fasten up the training. It not just we do parallel computing only for ML or DL model. As the complexity of code increases, running code in serial much take time. So we can leverage the power of parallel computing to any piece of code to reduce the computation time. We can achieve this by using Joblib. Joblib is an amazing tool used to provide lightweight pipelining in python it allow you to run the code in parallel mode with very few piece of code let's take an example to understand it better create a simple function like square the number import time to track the execution time let also add time dot slip to understand it in better way as function is very elementary also define the start and end time of a function and print the total execution time Now run it without joblib. Here you see it take approximately 10 seconds as it run sequentially. Let run it using joblib. First import the joblib library type from joblib import parallel delayed. Also define the start and end time of a function. So the structure should be parallel n job which is number of core you assign to run the code more the core faster it execute second define the backend we want to use like Loki multiprocessing multi threading etc default one is Loki pass the verbose to get the detailed output now pass our function name in the delayed function just after that define the input parameters that your function take whether it is argument or keyword argument as we iterate function 10 time put for loop for that end the time here also print the total execution time taken by joblib to run a function and run it here you see it take 5 second which is half of the previous run let's see what it impact by increasing the end job value by 6 the execution time even get more reduced from the previous run. That's great. Let's understand this parallel code line in a bit detail. Like what is the meaning of this whole parallel code line? First, a parallel instance with n job, let's say 8 instances get created. After that, delete function is used to create a list of tasks using our function and input parameters that we pass it look like this 
द लिस्ट कंटेनिंग द टास्क इज क्रिएटेड फॉर ऑल इनपुट वैल्यूज दैट वी पास बट नॉट एग्जीक्यूटेड येट द लिस्ट इज पास टू द पैरल इंस्टेंस वेयर इट रन द लिस्ट ऑफ टास्क इन पैरल आई होप यू गॉट द लॉजिक ऑफ दिस पैरल कोड लाइन नाउ लेट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ यू एग्जीक्यूट क्लास फंक्शन पैरलली यूजिंग जॉब लिप टेक आवर ओल्ड स्क्वायरिंग नंबर एग्जाम्पल एंड क्रिएट एज अ क्लास first we create the list of class instances with input parameter values define the parallel instance here we didn't define the backend so it take default one that is loki inside that we define the delete function one thing important here is that instead of passing our function name directly in delete we use lambda function to call each class instances while calling the class square function and instead of passing the parameter we pass the instance as input parameter now pass this delete function as input to the parallel instance which it run the list of task in parallel execute it here you see it runs successfully and all the class instances has been executed in parallel mode i hope everything is clear to you and you got basic understanding about joblib for queries or any doubt please leave a comment below see you in next video till then happy learning